Hello everyone, I'm X13, welcome back to the Aero Team channel. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to build the Grumman X29 in 1.5 to 1 scale. The Grumman X29 was an experimental, forward-sweeping wing fighter aircraft developed from the F5 Freedom Fighter. The X29 was developed in the 1980s as a competitor to the General Dynamics F16 Fighting Falcon. This aircraft was designed by myself, with some revisions by mind. As I mentioned beforehand, this build is in 1.5 to 1 scale, meaning 1 meter in real real life equals exactly one and a half blocks in minecraft this aircraft will scale perfectly with all other 1.5 to 1 tutorials on the channel as well as your own 1.5 to 1 scale builds as always this aircraft does make use of our very own aero team texture pack a download link to the latest version which is currently dev 16 can be found in the description and discord which is also linked in the description if you can't download the pack for whatever reason i'll be giving some tips to convert the aircraft to default throughout the video However, keep in mind that this aircraft was designed in the pack, so it may look a bit odd without it. As for dimensions, this aircraft is 25 blocks long, 13 blocks wide, and 7 blocks tall. Let's get working on letter 1. Alright, so to get started on letter 1, uh, we're just going to come over to our building area. And first, I'm just going to mention that for the purposes of the tutorial, I'll be referring to the purple block, or white wool, uh, purple stairs, and purple slab as the white wool uh, white wolf stairs and white wolf slabs, uh, but keep in mind in the pack they are the purple stairs and purple slabs. Uh, if you're not using the pack, you can use uh, either smooth quartz, regular quartz, uh, white wool with uh, either one of those uh, would work uh, pretty well. Alright, so anyways to get started, we're first going to come up two blocks with a birch trapdoor and this is going to be the first block uh, or not block i suppose um but this will be uh two blocks above the ground uh i'm going to come back two uh white top slabs three quartz top slabs another uh two white top slabs and then a forward facing uh white stair come back two more uh sorry three more uh white top slabs and make a t and then with your birch trap doors again uh, come forward two on either side from that t all right now switching to the quartz lab we're going to make a two by three area so one two and then three white slabs Come back uh, four more, so one, two, three, four. From these uh, side slabs, we're gonna come back uh, three with your birch slabs. Your side, one, two, three. Uh, three more on the back of the center slab, one, two, three. And then your dark oak trapdoor, which in the pack is a sort of dark uh, brick texture. Um, if you're in default, uh, I'm not sure, maybe just stick with iron, uh, but yeah, you can kind of formulate your own idea on that one. Uh, so yeah, and uh, that'll finish it for layer one, uh, pretty easy, so. Alright, starting on layer two now, uh, we're first going to come down to this first birch trap door, and just place another one right on top of it there. Then, with your jungle trapdoors, which in the Aero Team texture pack are a smooth stone texture, um, in default you can just use iron again. Uh, on that top trapdoor, just come two forward. There's a long uh, kind of pedo tube probe uh, that comes forward from the X29, as you can see uh, over there. From this birch trapdoor, you're going to come back with a white slab, a uh, white forwards facing stair. And then seven uh, white wool. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. From uh, on top of these trapdoors here, which should just, the white wool should overlap by one. And on top of these trapdoors, we're going to place inward facing, upside down, uh, white stairs like this for the. Uh, engine inlets on either side of the aircraft. Come back one more again with each. 
And then we're going to get our mossy cobblestone wool, which in the editing texture is a uh, white wool wool. Uh, well, if you are in detail, uh, default, you can use a diorite, right, like that. Uh, coming back from that, we're going to get our diorite block, which, as stated previously, was a uh, dark gray brick. On either side of that, a uh, white wool. In the center here, we're going to take our uh, smooth stone and do just two blocks like that. And then your upside down, inward facing purple stairs again for the gear bays, uh, like that. I'm going to come two blocks more back on either side. And then in the center, uh, eight blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On either side of that now, we're going to place six, I believe, uh, birch trapdoors. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oops, sorry. Five birch trapdoors on either side. So one, two, three, four, five. It should, it should land uh, one short of this uh, white wall. And we're going to get our diorite stairs and dark oak trapdoors. A uh, diorite upside down rearward facing stair on just on top of that dark oak trapdoor and close the trap drawers on either side of that. And then for one final detail, you can get your polished black stone button and stone button and your birch trap door. Coming forward from these inlets, just place a birch trap door on either side right there. Stone button forward from that and then a black stone button in front of that. That happens on both sides like that. Uh, and that'll do it for layer two. Alright, so to start layer 3, we're just going to come to the center of these three uh, quartz top slabs on layer 1. Come to the top and place a birch trapdoor. Uh, extend that one back. And then take your nether brick stairs, uh, which are a black wool texture in the arrow team texture pack. Uh, and just place one of those facing forward, like so. A black wool right behind it. Uh, make that two. And then acacia trapdoors on top of both of those. Uh, these are black wool in um, the arrow team texture pack. Uh, you can use dark oak uh, trapdoors if you're in default. Coming back from this, uh, I'm going to do one uh, white wool, a purple stair facing backwards, one purple slab, purple stair facing forwards. And then four purple slabs, like so. And then another purple uh, stair facing forwards, four uh, white wool. You're gonna get your birch trapdoor out. Uh, and then in the kind of the center of these four, just place two birch trapdoors closed on either side, like so. You can then get out your polished blackstone button and spruce button. Polished blackstone button uh, just in front of these trapdoors on both sides. And then now we're going to have to use a little bit of world edit. So, the spruce button is a red button in the arrow team texture pack. Um, I think you can just use acacia in the default pack. Now, what we want to do, so the X29 has a slightly off-center beacon light. Um, it's just slightly to the uh, to this side of the aircraft. Um, so to get that effect, instead of just placing a slab here, we're going to place a button on the side of the slab. But as you might know, you can't place uh, buttons on the sides of slabs. So what we're going to do instead is use a little bit of world edit. So you can get a stick or any old tool. Type slash repl, R-E-P-L, zero. And there you go. Now we're just going to place a block here, which is the first slab in front of this stair. Place a spruce button on there. Get a stick and left click to select it. Delete the button now, and then right click on this block, and it'll paste it there. Uh, the shading might get a little bit messed up, so I'm just going to do clean light real quick, and there we go. All right, so other than... So that's most of layer 3 right there. Um, now just for one final detail, just to give this inlet area a little bit more curvature, 
I'm going to come back uh, to the third block of the inlet. So one, two, three, and then on that third block, place one, two, three birch trap doors right there. You can do that on both sides. That just gives the inlet uh, a little bit more curvature. Uh, but that will be all for layer three. All right, actually I forgot about one last detail in layer three, and that is just gonna be if you come right on top of this uh, diorite stair at the back, uh, and just place one mossy cobblestone wall. Uh, if you don't have rolled at it, uh, that will be it. Um, if you do have rolled at it, uh, you should still have that stick from the beacon. If not, just remember uh, slash repl zero. And then what we're going to do is place uh, a 2 by 3 area of uh, mossy cobblestone walls uh, just anywhere around the aircraft. Uh, make sure they're facing the same direction as the plane. Come down and select this kind of uh, bottom middle one. Left click and just right click on this wall. Uh, and that just gives us some nice curvature here. And we can delete uh, these now. Oh yeah, that will do it for layer 3, uh, which is also the final layer of the fuselage, so now we'll be moving on to the tail. Alright, now for the tail, uh, we're going to come back to this tail section. Um, and on top of this block in the center of these first trapdoors, you can just place your uh, white stair. Come back uh, two blocks of that, and then if you are in the air routine pack, you can get your dead brain coral fan which is also the uh, white wool sideways slab, and just place one on there. Uh, also, this wall went down, so I'm just going to break leg again because I still have it uh, selected. Uh, if you don't have the pack, you can just use a wall here, and that'll kind of get the same effect. Uh, next up, I'm going to get your white stairs again. Come on top of this block, block back, and then upside down white stair at the back. And then finally, another white stair, and just one block. Uh, and that'll do it for the tail. So now onto the wings and canards. All right, now for the wing. Uh, this is a pretty small wing, as you can see over there. Uh, so this should be fairly easy. Uh, so we're first gonna start just be coming to the, by coming to this uh, these last two blocks of the intake. And we're just gonna come one back from that on this first trapdoor and come two forward. So we'll have three uh, in all. We're going to come uh, forward with another three at a angle like that. And then uh, just two on the front like this. Another two uh, at an angle. And then just one on the end. So on the front, we should have one, two, two, and on the back, it's just one, 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 one. Uh, there's one, one, one. Yeah, one, 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 one. All right. Uh, you might be thinking that this wing looks a little bit thin. That's because there is actually a snow layer on the back of it, if you can uh, see there. Um, now, the way that we're going to do this, because you can't just place snow like on air, um, if you are in default, uh, you can use uh, barrier blocks, uh, just doing slash I barrier, so like so. And then you can just place them under the snow. Uh, however, I am just going to use, if we get some white wool, we can just place them some white wool all the way along here so that there's uh, five, like so. Place one snow layer on the ground, and then I still have my... Uh, replace your tool stick. You just left click on that and then just right click on all these. And that gives the wing uh, a nice little bit of curvature. Um, if you don't want to have to use barrier blocks under this and you also don't have rolled at it, you can just use uh, trapdoors also here. Um, it's a pretty uh, small detail. Uh, for one final thing on the wing, there's just this little sort of under the wing kind of uh, pylon here almost. Uh, and we're just going to use our purple top slabs. So we come two uh, blocks from the end here, just under the snow layer. Because that didn't work, so we'll go under the trap door and place one, and then come one back, and then just place snow on there again. So that'll be uh, just one block away from the end, like so. And that'll do it for the wing. Uh, 
you might have noticed by now that the X29 doesn't have any sort of horizontal stabilizer. Uh, and that's because it actually has a canard, which is this small wing um, just up here. And that's what controls the... Uh, that's, it's kind of like a horizontal stabilizer, but it's uh, forward of the wing. Uh, so to build that real quick, we can just come with our birch trapdoors to the first uh, block of the uh, inlet here the intake and just uh come one on the side make sure you don't place it uh here it should be on the side of the stair not the uh trap door come one more back and then one out so you have a ooh, not like that a uh, l shape and then we're going to take our snow again we're just going to do a temporary block and then uh right click so that we can get the snow there snow there again uh so that it just has that nice uh little bit of curvature uh, but yeah, that'll do it for the wings. Alright, so now for the landing gear. We're first going to be starting with the nose gear. Uh, so we can first come down to these three uh, quartz top slabs and just place a uh, wheel head uh, under the third one. Now, if you're on the server or you have the head database plugin, you can just do slash hdb search wheel like that. And the one I'm using is this one, uh, ID 16836. I think there's a way to like paste the ID in, uh, so if you know how to do that, you can do that. Um, if you don't have, uh, or you don't know how to do that, uh, you can just use a Wither Skeleton School, which is also black. Um, just like place it like this, facing river roots, uh, and that'll work pretty well as well. Yeah, we're going to use this wheel head. Uh, and then we're going to try and make a wheel strut for it. Now, you can't place a fence in between here because there's a wheel here and blocks here. So the way that we're going to do this is with an armor stand. Uh, not in the typical way, though, where we put the armor stand in the ground and then put the player head on top. Uh, instead, we are going to delete this uh, slab here and block and just place an armor stand uh, forward facing just like that on top of it uh, and this is kind of a I think it's actually been on the channel before and uh, maybe the Cessna 208 tutorial can't remember um, but yeah so now we're going to take our iron boots and leggings and just place them on there uh, and then now we can just using world edit uh, select this and go slash slash stack one back uh, and there you go so you've got your uh, nose landing gear right there uh, there's also a taxi light on the front of it so to do that we're going to get our temporary block here I'll just use stone jungle button which is a white button in the arrow tune texture pack uh, you can just use birch and defaults and just uh, world edit on there uh, like we've done with the, some of the other stuff as well. That'll do it for the uh, nose landing gear, except for there's actually silver, the actual nose landing gear for the doors. Um, there's going to be a upside down uh, rearward facing uh, white stair just right behind it. And then there's also going to be, I'm going to use, let's see, jungle signs and is going to go on these first two blocks and not on this one here. Um, just like that. Uh, and that's just for the uh, landing gear doors. Uh, yeah, so that'll fully do it for the uh, nose landing gear. Uh, for the main landing gear, we can first uh, delete all six of those quartz slabs. Uh, I'm just going to switch out my inventory real quick. Uh, like so. And we're first in the center two. I'm just going to place some mossy cobblestone walls. If you've got world edit, what we can do is again, uh, just like with the tail back there, uh, place this 2x3 of uh, walls, the center bottom one, and then just uh, world edit those on. Underneath that, I'm going to place just uh, two uh, purple top slabs, like so. Uh, the X-29 has an interesting uh, main landing gear design. It's got these two... Oh, I don't mean to do that. Uh, two really big 
uh, landing gear door is kind of in the middle of the fuselage there. Uh, but yeah, we delete those walls now. Uh, and now for the main landing gear, we're going to be first starting with our crimson fence, which is a gray fence. Uh, just one there. And then we are going to be using a lever. We're going to put in a... I'm going to attach it to the fence so that it's facing up like this. So what we can do is just place a temporary block like that. A temporary block over here with a lever uh, facing upwards like so. And then just like that. Now it is black currently, so we can just do clean light and there we go. This fence, uh, we can also pull it it to, to be a little bit better. If you just place two like this, take this rearward facing one right here. And just like that, so they just look a little bit more connected. All right, next uh, we're going to be placing the actual wheel, and that's going to be a dead fire coral fan, which is a uh, black wool sideways slab in the Aero Team texture pack. Uh, if you're not in the pack, you can use a wall. Um, just uh, I think people do something like that for wheels. Um, it will be in the center of the block as opposed to on the side, but it should be pretty close. All right, um, so the wheel is going to be right here, so we can place our temporary block. And then while that temporary block is still there, we're going to place a lever on the side of it, just like so. And then I'm going to get, oh, just uh, got rid of it, a uh, dead fire coral fan. Uh, and place it on the left side of a block uh, like this, so that the, it's kind of, touching the block on this side. Uh, I'm not sure how to explain that very well, but uh, yeah, you can just replace that on there and it should be just on the lever like that. Uh, this is a pretty small gear, so I can do it on both sides. So what we can do is just place our temporary block, the lever on it, our fence on top of that, and then I still have this fence over here, so I can just take that again. Uh, do that, and then let's see. I still also have the lever. Good thing I didn't delete any of this, I suppose. Uh, just on top of that, uh, or not on top, but next to that fence there, and then we can just get our dead fire coral fan and paste it on like that. Um, and then we can just delete all this stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, that'll do it for the X29. Congratulations on completing this X29 tutorial. Thanks for watching the video and choosing an Aero Team design. You are allowed to use this in any sort of public project as long as you provide proper credit to the Aero Team. If you did build this aircraft, let us know. We'd love to see you all following the tutorials. You can tag us on Twitter at AeroTeamMC or share it with us in our Discord linked below in the description. Please do consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoy our videos and want to see more tutorials and showcases as soon as they come out. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.